since about 16. And what we're trying to do more or less is get to a grazing situation where we can overwinter cows because we, it's cheaper to have them pull the feed up than it is to feed them. We've done it once, but uh, not every year is cover crops uh, work like we want. So that's why we're looking at interseeding earlier and trying to get a crop established. Uh, hopefully uh, this year we'll be able to carry them all winter through without ever having to start a tractor. So your feed cost uh, is really one of the main things for your cattle, is the, yeah, yeah. And then the, that's uh, where cover crops shine the best is uh, through feed cost and livestock, and mm -hmm. uh, the more you can rotate into cover crops and uh, get your chemical use cut back, it's always a plus. And then you always got soil health, and that's why uh, we're actually looking at uh, taking and making grazing a uh, crop part of the crop rotation corn beans graze it with cover crops mm -hmm. and we'll know better here this year see how that works out because this will be our first year So when do you when have you normally seeded your cover crops? Oh, we usually don't seed until the fall. After harvest. After harvest, we've flown it on a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, not been real happy with any of that yet, but uh, it works some years, and some years it just doesn't seem to work at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, getting it in early, getting it established for corn canopies seems to be. Uh, kind of a better way to go. And we're gonna do some 60 inch rows and we got some 30 inch rows. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing cover crops since 2016, so basically four years into yep. it. And uh, what have you seen for soil health and uh, soil, well, soil health? Uh, it seems like our organic matter is moving up about a tenth of a percent every year. So uh, we're getting closer to that four percent. We've actually had some spots test four percent organic matter. And uh, the rule of thumb is, is once you get to 4% organic matter, things really start to come together pretty fast. And the biggest thing is being able to run livestock on it. We've, uh, the acres that we've had in cover crops have been grazed every winter, regardless of what we've had out there, whether it was just corn or whether it was corn and rye and a cover crop. Mm -hmm. We always try to get a cover crop established just to help carry the cows through. Mm -hmm. getting the cover crops established early and in 60 inch rows do you think that's going to give you a lot more vegetative I, growth and we're going to plant something that's going to we're going to try and end up with about 9,000 pounds of biomass uh, 
over this time period and uh, not use it until about December 1st. And then should be able to carry the cows clear up till April 15th if we can. So you're looking at getting what kind of cover crop are you putting out there? What's your well? Uh, what we'll you probably at? do a six seven way mix. It uh, sorghum sedan grass will be part of it, but it's not very high in feed value. Uh, millet's not very high in feed value, so we kind of got to try and get back to. Uh, not sure if we're going to use rye or black oats or uh, some of that, but uh, we're going to try two or three different mixes and and always keep our turnips and radishes and might even throw some okra and spinach in too. Interesting. Interesting.